are you looking to find out how to add logo packs into your game? I mean, I guess you are. You did click on this video. I'm going to show you now how to do it quick and easy. And if the graphics don't load, what you do in that situation. So here we are with Vikin Stavanger. And you can see we don't have the logo. So we need to head over to a football manager website. So here we are on fmscout.com. And they have some logo packs here. I quite like these ones, to be honest with you. But I already have the standard logo pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that. So we've got ourselves our logos. And we are now on my documents. Sports Interactive Football Manager 2024. Now you can see we don't actually have a graphics folder in here. So all we do is right click. And then we go to new, new folder. And we call it graphics. It's as simple as that. So we now have a graphics folder to input our logos into. So let's open that. So now on my document, Sports Interactive FM24 Graphics. Okay, so you would now in your downloads folder have your logos. Now, obviously, I've already got my graphics from previous Football Manager versions, but here is the logos folder which you would have downloaded off Football Manager. Now, all you do is just drag that over into the graphics folder. So you will have my document, Sports Interactive, FM24, Graphics. Then within there, you will have a Logos folder. Now, if the the logos you download are called FM Scout Logos, for example, create a Logos folder and put that within there. So now that is in there, we go back on the Football Manager, go to Preferences. And if we just click Clear Cache at the bottom corner and click Yes, then what we can do is I'll just adjust this or something so I can refresh, click confirm. And as you can see, it didn't come up. Now, this is sometimes an issue within Football Manager where you install new graphics and they just don't show. So what you need to do is you need to go to Paul, which is me, App Data, Local, Sports Interactive, FM24. And you've got your cache folder here. Just delete it. Just plain and simple, delete so then go back into Football Manager. Now, for me, what I always find works best is I just completely close Football Manager now and boot it back up. So we just wait now for Football Manager to boot back up. And the logos should now be inputted into the game, working perfectly fine. And here we go. I can already see that they are working perfectly fine. You can see the Viken FK, Viken Stavanger logo is there. And you can see all the logos for the teams in the division are there. So it's very plain and simple. If you do have the issue, you just go into where the cache folder is, which I did show you. Delete that cache folder and then restart the game and everything is perfectly fine. Hopefully that helped. I'm going to do another video where I show you how to import kits. Spoiler, if you got through most of this, it's pretty much exactly the same. But two videos keep content flowing. Thank you for watching. I've been Paul, Austin and Northman. I'll see you next time.